Just had to get out of the house. It's been a rough day. Hang on, have a whiskey. You want a whiskey, Gary? Whiskey? The end of the world is coming on Sunday night. And I'm not talking about AMC's blockbuster series, The Walking Dead. No, I'm talking sitcom style with The Last Man on Earth, debuting on Fox on March 1st. Hatched out of the deal that the Lego movies Phil Lords and Christopher Miller have with 20th Century Fox TV, and created by and starring SNL alum and Nebraska actor Will Forte, the straightforward premise is all in the title with this show. When a virus seemingly wipes out the Earth's population, former temp Phil Miller has to handle all the luxuries and the loneliness of being the last man on Earth. Straight, straight, straight. So, with car bowling, and a very imaginative interior decorating technique that includes a couple of acquired Oscars, Hugh Hefner's PJs, $10,000 bottle of wines, a Van Gogh or two, and a real suit of armor, the show starts off indulging every fantasy of a Tucson, Arizona-based everyman allowed to suddenly have everything in the world. Now granted, that's a world without electricity, running water, family, or buddies, except the inflated ones, which he stole the idea from, from Tom Hanks' Castaway. That's how you get rid of lice. With the proliferation of end-of-the-world shows like Mega Hit The Walking Dead, Sci-Fi's 12 Monkeys, and TNT's The Last Ship, one going for laughs like this, I gotta tell you, it's a somewhat original approach. And like he was in the 2013 Alexander Payne-directed Nebraska, Forte is great here. Charming and understated where so many others would be obnoxious. And the show? The show is funny. In fact, it's very funny at times. And a welcome addition to Fox's Sunday night mix of comedy and animation. It will also definitely appeal to a different crowd than ABC's Secret and Lies, which is premiering at the same time on the same night. There are some drawbacks. <laughs> I know you know that. The biggest problem with Last Man isn't the idea, but the execution of its premise. Now, it's a little bit more complicated than that, as you'll discover pretty quickly. The title is very specific. With getting a good comedy off the ground nowadays and keeping it going already hard work enough for any network without the specifics of Last Man, the question is, will there be enough here for a series year after year? <clears throat> as the dismally rated and format-specific Mulaney quickly proved for Fox, while looks good on paper and in rushes can crash and burn pretty quickly. So when it comes to Last Man on Earth, I'm gonna have to be a bad critic, folks, and I'm gonna tell you it's hard right now to tell if it'll work or not. But I will also say this, that with Forte and the guys who made Lego a warm-hearted indictment of modern corporate America at its helm, I wouldn't bet against them pulling it off just yet.